Several maritime organizations are leading the charge to improve the environmental performance of international shipping through a number of projects with climate change emerging as a significant danger. Let's look at some of them. The 2023 Green for Sea Initiative Award goes to Clean Energy Marine Hubs. Congratulations! Time to hear from Mr. Guy Platten the concept behind this initiative. It is a great honour to be accepting the award for the Clean Energy Marine Hubs initiative, which so many people have been working hard to set up and make a success. The Clean Energy Marine Hubs initiative, or as we call them, SEM Hubs, is a unique partnership between the International Association of Ports and Harbours the Clean Energy Ministerial and the International Chamber of Shipping. We are working with five governments to create a platform that breaks down the silos between us so we can collaborate to tackle our collective challenge, catalyzing the energy transition. The initiative is a real outcome of our COP26 engagement on our Shaping the Future of Shipping Summit last June, when we convened the leaders of the maritime value chain. Thank you to everyone who voted for the SEM Hubs initiative to win this fantastic award for innovation. And thank you to everyone who's been involved in the initiative so far. The SEM Hubs aim to accelerate the deployment of infrastructure and to de-risk the investment needed to ensure that the world can have access to low carbon fuels. With production of new fuels close to the ports for the maritime sector to transport and ultimately use, 50% of the new zero emission fuels are expected to be transported by ship. The SEM Hubs brings together a CEO-led task force, representing all aspects of the energy value chain and ministers of governments across the world to ensure that we deliver the global energy transition. There are many initiatives out there that look at powering ships, but this initiative is about the opportunity to, opportunity to provide fuels for the whole world not just limiting our ambitions to the shipping industry. We cannot ignore the scale of the climate change challenge ahead of us. Collaboration across the entire value chain is the only way we can forge a path to decarbonisation, not just for shipping, but for the whole world. We talk to ministers and they all have great plans to export or import these new fuels, and this initiative enables this to actually happen. We look forward to formally launching the initiative at the Clean Energy Ministerial in India in July, but the amount of support the initiative has received so far has been astounding. It truly is a testament to the strength of feeling across the world that we all have a part to play to tackle climate change. I would also like to highlight that every nominee for the Green for Sea Initiative Award is doing fantastic work, from training seafarers to the uncertain future ahead, working to reduce the industry's carbon footprint and much, much more. 
It is only by all of us working together, playing our parts, that we can shape a positive future for the shipping industry and our workforce. Thank you again to you all. Thank you.